Hi, I'm Dave Hook, President and Founder of Clean Hook Aviation Services. We specialize in developing effective, low-cost security solutions for our general aviation community. In the next few moments, I'd like to take the time to familiarize you with the U.S. Transportation Security Administration's recent Notice of Proposed Rulemaking dealing with the Large Aircraft Security Program the Other Aircraft Operator Security Program, and the Airport Operator Security Program. These will have a major impact on our general aviation community, and Plainhook wants you to know what these proposals are. This is a brief overview of the proposed changes. The NPRM is a 260-page document that is available for you to download at www.planehook.com. The aircraft operators and pilots with aircraft having a maximum takeoff weight greater than 12,500 pounds, whether they fly their aircraft for business or pleasure, would be required to adopt a security program with the following requirements. Owners, operators, and crew would be required to successfully pass a fingerprint-based criminal history records check. All passengers on board must be checked against the TSA's no-fly list, like the airlines. Aircraft owners must submit their large aircraft security program for biennial audit to a TSA-approved third-party auditor contracted by the aircraft owner. Operators of aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight in excess of 100,310 pounds must screen both passengers and their accessible baggage and all stowed property must be checked for unauthorized persons. Airports that are designated by the U.S. Department of Transportation as reliever airports and general aviation airports with scheduled or public charter service provided by large aircraft would be required to implement a TSA-designated partial airport security program. Required elements for a partial airport security program include the appointment or employment of an airport security coordinator, local law enforcement agency support, personnel, and training in airport security, a records program recording law enforcement response, a security information program that deals with security programs, TSA security directives, information circulars, and classified information, a public advisory program, and an incident management program. We are currently within the 60-day public response window, and we here at Plainhook encourage you to send your comments to the TSA on this NPRM. Send your comments electronically to www.regulations.gov and follow the instructions on that website. You can also mail your comments to the docket management facility at the address on this slide. You can also fax your comments to area code 202-493-2251. For NPRM and TSA program comments concerning this proposal, contact Mr. Eric Jensen, Branch Chief, Policy, Plans, and Stakeholder Affairs in the Office of General Aviation at the Transportation Security Administration. As for all of us here at Plainhook, we hope you found this video useful and informative. Our monthly general aviation security webcast for this coming November will cover this NPRM in greater detail. The link to this free webcast is posted on our website, www.plainhook.com. We invite your comments and critiques on all of our videos and webcasts. We encourage you to participate in government by sending your comments concerning this NPRM. And as always, fly safe and be secure.